Today we're going to be talking about the season six roadmap. We'll kind of run through what's going on with it, as well as some of the various changes that will be coming in with that brand new season. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. So pretty straightforward stuff that we normally get with these updates. There are some bigger changes coming to Warzone. We have multiplayer maps. They're going to add a few of those zombies, brand new Round based zombies experience is the reason why that's important because they've been primarily focusing on outbreak, which has kind of been a flop, I think, in some people's eyes, especially for people who enjoy zombies. They're going to be adding a brand new perk, new wonder weapons, new support stuff like kill streaks or whatever. Uh, and then there's going to be a seasonal event called the Haunting, which is something we had last year, which was incredibly popular. Probably one of the best limited time modes, and I'm glad that's coming back. October 19th, so we got about three weeks before that happens. And then Warzone, there's multiple map updates. They're going to um, have like an earthquake. I don't know if you guys have seen any of that stuff going on with it. But it's like there's an earthquake explosion that essentially cracks part of the map. Um, between stadium and downtown uh, and we'll get some bigger images as we go through it we also have world war ii bunkers which i guess that's going to be how they tie in uh, vanguard not 100 percent sure and then we'll have the original gulag but it has had some changes to it um which they mentioned and maybe maybe it's lighting maybe they limited it because before they used to have they had three different gulags that essentially look the same but they were slightly different so we'll see maybe they move some of those out of the rotation or they actually add more into the rotation and then when it comes to the weapons we're going to have the iron hide shotgun i believe the grab which is kind of like the galil um, from Call of Duty has been in the game multiple times uh, in a lot of Bl uh, Treyarch titles. And then we have the Battle Axe, which these two will be Battle Pass. This one will likely be a challenge on the right. And then later on in the mid-season, uh, the Lapa, which is supposed to be an SMG, will be uh, in season with the challenge or you have to buy and then hammer and sickle. So a little bit closer look at uh, Stadium. You can see it's all ripped apart. There is like a whole underground area that was already part of it. So this is kind of opened that area up. I'm not sure how big a dynamic it'll change. Obviously, Stadium's a little bit more centrally located. Um, and you can see in the background, it doesn't look like a huge amount of changes over in um, downtown. Still got the biggest building and the bank. Um, and it kind of looks like it stops there on the underground section right below the, the Nakatomi Tower. Um, let's go ahead and look at another one. Just a little bit of a different angle. You can see it kind of allows you to go all the way under there. So... I don't know, maybe vehicle transportation. Then we have these bunkers, which aren't very well lit, but it'll be a place to camp. There'll probably be some good loot. Um, and then the Gulag. The Gulag will be back. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to change. We have a downtown picture here. You can kind of see how this one, it goes towards the edge here. So this is kind of like a big area of the map and centrally located. There'll probably be some um, contracts that you need to do where they're Intel based where you grab one, you got to go to the next. And, and we've, we've done those types of things. They aren't too original with that stuff, but it's nice to see a map change of dance, especially since most of my time has been spent um, playing Rebirth because I've been kind of bored with Verdance. Not enough changes, not enough differences um, from that. So this also gives us a better look at the new weapons. We got the iron side, which is shotgun. That's launch a battle pass, grab assault rifle, battle pass. And you can see these are obviously cold war uh, engine, but um, you'll be able to see kind of a little bit of what those are. That's kind of funny. And then we got the hammer sickle. So obviously since it's Thursday, there is a playlist update. Buyback solos is back. Then we have realism BR. Remember that's normal health, but headshots do more damage. Um, so there is that specific component to that mode. Um, and there's no HUD and there's a bunch of other stuff unless you have like a UAV and stuff. So a little bit of awkward mode. I know some people like it, but it is what it is. Plunder trios and then we have resurgence extreme which i think this time around they modified it so it's only capped at 64 versus 100 so it's going to be like 16 teams instead of the 10 uh or the 25 teams that would have been in the 100 uh and then they removed regular solos iron trials is also gone plunder quads is gone and the resurgence quads is gone so with the update only a week away hopefully we'll get more info on that if you enjoyed the video learn something new please do me a favor hit the like button if you're brand new want to find your way back subscribe with notifications on see you guys in the next one thank you for watching as always have a great day